health workers are the backbone of health care for millions of people, particularly those most underserved populations, the, the people living in the rural areas, the far reaches. Um, and I wanted to talk about frontline health workers because they are a very important link. They are the ones that quite often are giving the care, they are providing services to those that need it most. They are often the ones that millions of people rely on. Some people talk about frontline health workers as the individuals that are the link and the only connection that millions of people have with the health system. Why I wanted to talk about it so much is although frontline health workers can be community health workers, they can be doctors, they can be pharmacists, um, primarily they are nurses and midwives in most countries. And when you look at 87% of the healthcare workforce in the world being nurses and midwives, I wanted to talk about the role that nurses play in particular in the world at large, particularly on the front lines. Um, right now, the World Health Organization is talking about one mil needing one million more frontline health workers if we're gonna meet the needs of the most disadvantaged. And so I really wanted to emphasize their role, their impact on societies, and in particular, the nurse's role as a key frontline health worker. There are so many needs in the global world. And what's so sad for me is when discoveries, cutting edge innovations are uh, developed that are neither affordable or available to the people that most need them. Um, Japigo has been working for more than 40 years in some of the most low resource countries of the world with some of the most disadvantaged populations in the world. And our commitment has always been to try to develop our programs, our innovations around uh, making sure they are usable for everyone. So when we look at innovations, we look at two things. We look first at the science. What is the need? What is the disease? What is the issue? What are we trying to discover? But the second is really important, and that is the logistics. We need to figure out what is affordable, what is accessible, what is available? And only then can I say an innovation is a good innovation. Only then can I say it's really going to meet the needs of the disadvantaged, the, meets, the needs of those that most need it. There's innovations that we've worked on for years, the innovation around screening for cervical can cancer using acetic acid and cryotherapy. That really was a discovery based on who are going to be the workers that were available to do this. How can we make it affordable so that it could be utilized in all parts of countries, particularly low resource countries. What Chapaigo is really committed to is building the capacity of countries to do for themselves. Understanding that our goals are to help that country utilize this but develop the systems to make this program their own. Mozambique, a population where only less than 25% of people know their HIV AIDS status and we've been able to work with the ministry to educate community health workers so that they can go out house to house and be able to map and figure out who's been counseled, who's been tested, and how can you refer them. I think that's an extraordinary um, uh, feat and success. It's, real, it's their success and I feel honored that we're part of it. In, in screening of cervical cancer, a country like Thailand had the pap smear for many years, but only 5% of the women had ever been screened. We worked with them many, many years ago in developing uh, the single visit approach, which is a way to screen using acetic acid and, and treat if needed uh, with, with vinegar precancerous cell, I mean with a cryotherapy unit precancerous cells. And now, Years later, they are doing for themselves. It's primarily nurses and midwives that are doing it. They're screening, they're treating, and they've screened more than a million women. A million women today in Thailand are going to live because they've been screened and treated. And they've been had it done by their own nurses and midwives. To me, that's a success that you want, you feel good about. First, I want nursing students to know what a wonderful profession they're in. 
I want them to realize um, what they are doing and can do with their careers as nurses. And I think, you know, the global health world offers them so many opportunities, whether it's teaching other nurses, or whether it's looking at systems, or whether it's figuring out with nurses, side by side with nurses that do understand their culture, and figuring out solutions, new innovations to make sure that that mother lives or that child lives. I really feel that nurses are in the best position. They make up the majority of the health workforce around the world. They're in the po best position. So students coming out should look at this global world as a place that they will learn an incredible amount. But they will also be able to work side by side with health workers and figure out solutions for this next generation of women and children and families. And there's no greater role you can have than working in the global community and working together to find solutions so that our world is healthier. Obviously, if these countries are healthier, we know that that relates to being more economically sound and more politically stable. And it means that these people become productive citizens of their own country. So that's the influence these nursing students can have on the world. And, and as far as I'm concerned, the nurse is critical to whatever we're going to do in global health, ever.